This business is uh, celebrating Pride and the Pride Parade and will take part for the very first time. Yeah, Mikey went down to a local teen mental health center to find out about their involvement. Tomorrow is Pride Parade, and for that, we are spilling all of the tea at Spill the Tea Cafe here in Honolulu. For that, we got to bring in my friend Haylin. Hi, sister. How are hey, you doing? Hey, Mikey. How are you? I'm Thanks doing for well. Me here. I love the space, by the way. So this is like where you you do your practices, right? It's because you're a therapist. Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah, we try to make it vibey in here. It's all DIY, so we're very proud of it. A lot of the kiddos helped us do it. I love it. I see some TikTok nods. Um, let's talk about Spill the Tea Cafe. You know, um, it's not just a cafe. It's a place for everybody to feel welcome, right? Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Okay, sure. So we're a mental health clinic for teenagers ages 11 to 17 and we really wanted to just offer uh, therapy, group therapy, a place where kids can hang out. We serve free boba and coffee and tea, but we also have like a PlayStation 5 and foosball table, right? So kids can come in here and do their homework, but also paint or, you know, just read a book. I just want the kids to be able to come. Uh, so yeah, all kids are welcome. Obviously we have like street kids and all, all kids, but we really want to show our LGBTQIA plus community extra love this month. You know, Living 808's been following Spill the Tea for a while now. Um, I want to know a little bit about the inspiration and, you know, the motivation to create Spill the Tea. Yeah, it's, I don't want to be so depressing, but really, like, during the pandemic, I could not find any resources for my child. Uh, everybody was booked up, and, you know, there was a lot of suicides, and, and still, a lot of teenagers are still dealing with the aftermath of, you know, the isolation. And so a lot of our hospitals were full. Kids couldn't get in, even if they were suicidal. Kids were waiting in the hospitals for three weeks, four weeks, you know, without treatment. And so I felt like it was time to take action and try to resolve that access problem and also um, provide groups. So, you know, kids can come in right. groups at a time so they don't have to wait. So there's just not enough resources in Hawaii and it really drove me to take action now and open up a space where, you know, we could maybe resolve that access problem. So you guys will have a big part in Pride Parade this weekend, huh? Yes. Yeah, yes. what are you guys doing? So we're actually gonna have a booth at the festival and, um, you know, you can come check us out. We have flyers and then we're also gonna participate in the actual parade. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are walking from Magic Island all the way until Waikiki Shell area, right? Yes. Okay, so I want to know a little bit about, um, you know, Pride Parade. This is the first year that it's back in person after a while. Um, this is the first time you guys are participating. Yes, it's our first time. Yeah, what does the Pride Parade mean to you? You know, I think Pride has been so transformational for me in terms of, I, I know I'm an ally and I'm not within the community. However, I really respect the strength and courage. Um, I have a hard time being my authentic self, right? I'm cisgendered and straight and I know that most humans have a hard time just being really authentic and true to themselves because we have so much pressure from church, society, our parents. And when I see kids from this community with the discrimination and added hate and added, you know, laws against them and um, still standing and saying, oh, this is who I am. You know, I just have so much respect for that and it's really inspiring because even someone like me, you know, they have more strength than I do, right? And so that's what I really love about the kids. Yeah, I agree. I, I feel like Pride is definitely a time and a place for everybody, everybody of all orientation, of all walks of life to come together and like you said, be their true authentic self without being judged. Right, You know, exactly. it, it's such a welcoming vibe. You've been to one before, I've been to one before and everybody there just wants to celebrate everybody's different walks of life. Yeah. And I think that's what it's about. Yes, and just letting people do what they need to do to be happy, but also taking care of your own self and doing whatever you need to do to make yourself happy, despite what other people might think. Mm -hmm. I think that's just kind of my message. Like, just let people do what they need to do to be happy, I you know? I love that. Yeah. You know, Haylin, you and I were talking before we started filming, um, and you see about 12 patients, you know, a day, at least sometimes. Yeah. I want to know, what is something that you're learning from your patients? Oh my gosh, so much. I mean, these kids have really transformed me. Like, obviously my, my own kid as well, but just, you know, knowing that I want to be part of their journey and help them explore who they are and, you know, whether that's their career choice or the college that they want to go to, right? Um, I'm here to be that that rock and the support system for my kid, but I don't own my kid, mm -hmm. right? It's not about me saying, oh, I need you to go to this school and I need you to be this way and I need you to dress this way. It's, yeah, I think that has been the most um, transformational thing for me and then yeah. 
um, trying to be unconditional in, in all of my love and support for all the kids that come through the door. So that's what you learn the most, is just being supportive and yeah. being, being, being a friend. Right, you know? right. And also, like, even as a therapist, having to take accountability and saying, I need to change some things, right, right. about myself. I think that's been the, the biggest lesson for me. If anybody wanted to reach out to you or even check out Spill the Tea, how can they do so? Yeah, so we're on Instagram at Spill the Tea Cafe, and then also our website is spilltheteacafe.org. Hey, thank you so much for allowing me into your space and welcoming all of our Living Airway viewers. We'll have more information on ktrinsu.com. Thanks, sis. Thank you. Very, very cool yeah. place. Yeah, and, and this is my first time going back since they've opened a few months ago, and I love what they've done with the place. Halen and the team, they're just so awesome, especially since there's a place for teens mm -hmm. who don't really know um, who they are yet, and uh -huh. Halen and her team are helping everybody figure out who they are. Well, I, I like the fact that it's just, it's a safe place, yeah. right? It's a safe place for discussion. Mm -hmm. Starting with that is, is the key to everything, because if you can at least have a discussion about what you're trying to find in yourself, right. Uh, you'll eventually get there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and I was talking to Halen. Um, even as adults, we're still trying to figure out who we are as individuals, and that's what she wanted to portray and convey to all of mm. you know the, the younger teens out there that you don't have to have everything figured out just yet. The place looks really nice. Too. I know. I was gonna say they just redid yeah. that too, and I think that's really so important too because you know making teens feel like not only they have a safe person to talk to but a safe place to be in yeah. you know somewhere that's really catered to teens and yeah. I think they feel really comfortable there for sure, for sure and they've got something to drink oh gosh so, <laughs> oh, no. so much good stuff up there that's awesome yeah. okay